Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through how to unlock your iPhone without a passcode. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. Before we go any farther, I just want you to know when you're resetting your phone, especially if you don't have the passcode, you're going to have to do a kind of like a factory reset on the phone. There are a couple of different ways to do it. However, if you don't have a backup already in place before you're starting this process, then you're going to lose all your information and you'll have to start over from scratch. But if that's something you're okay with, or if you already have that backup set up, your iCloud set up, then you're going to be good to go. So there's two ways to do it. There is an easy, really easy way to do it by using Find My Friends um, or Find My iPhone from another device, i.e. like your friend's phone, your parent's phone, or whatever like that. Once you're on their phone, go ahead and go to your Safari and go to iCloud.com. From there, you're going to have to sign into your iCloud, which is your Apple ID and password. Then you can go to Find My Phone. And then it's probably going to bring up a couple of different devices, depending on how many you have. Locate the exact device that you're talking about that you need to reset. Click on that. Then there'll be a couple of different options. And what you want to hit is erase iPhone. And then you're going to hit continue. And that will erase your iPhone completely. Give it a few minutes. It might take about five minutes to do that. Then you'll go ahead and re-log in. You'll have to start from scratch. It's going to be like you just have a brand new phone. However, there will be a point where it's going to ask if you want to uh, restore this or back this up from an old phone. And you can say yes and sign into your iCloud there. And then your phone will reset back to its original backup. However, again, like I said, if you don't have that already set up, then you won't be able to do that. The next option is using um, your computer to do it. This has a chance of uh, restoring um, all your information. So it is a, um, a valid option if you know you don't have a backup or you're unsure. So maybe try this. I can't show you it um, through by myself. I need to use this website because you have to turn off your phone to do it. And then I won't be recording. So from here, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to scroll down. I'm on the Apple website. You have your volume button on the left hand side and then you have that side button at the same time without being plugged into your computer. So make sure your phone is not connected to your computer. You're going to hold down those two buttons until it goes to that power off screen. You're going to continue to hold that and you're going to swipe all the way over to power off without letting go of those two buttons. At that point, you're going to use your other hand to plug in your iPhone to your computer, continually holding those two buttons. Then it will go into a reset recovery mode, which looks like this. From there, you're going to be able to go onto your computer and it's going to start to reset. It will probably bring up your iTunes. You can sign in there and then you can do a restore from there. I'm going to show you what that looks like by clicking on this. Um, there is an option when it comes up. It might happen that it's going to say um, there was a problem with your iPhone. You need to restore it. So you can hit restore. From that point, you can go ahead and go through the entire restoring process and setting up your phone. In that case, you'll have to put in that backup and that iCloud. So then your phone can go back to the backup. Or if you don't have a backup, that's when you'll lose all your information. However, you'll be able to get back on your, uh, your iPhone. If you guys have any questions on any of that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.